My small not big enough. Alright, so once again, welcome to the channel. And this time round, we are here at I Like Singapore. Alright, so over here, I, apparently there are 14 different exhibits all around the Marina Bay area. But before we go and check out the different exhibits, I think we should go and makan first, yeah? Because we also have got gastro beats right here. So, going to check out what's there to see, what's there to eat. Let's go! Okay, so as part of I Like Singapore, there is also gastro beats, which is happening just right beside us right now. Alright, so I think uh, what do Singaporeans like the best apart from all of the performances we also have got a lot of food as well i don't know how expensive they're going to be we're going to find out okay so the moment you enter you're going to find a dbs booth uh, so over here you can take a high speed slow-mo video of yourself okay okay As part of the activity play card, right? Uh, each time you finish one booth, you get one stamp, and when they stamp, it's like a physical stamp onto your phone kind of stamp, yeah. All right, and uh, once you complete at least four, you will be able to redeem some gift. Who knows why it is? Okay, so after just two stations, we thought we want to get a drink, and then turns out this is what we see right here. So, uh, gastro beats, you guys are really talking my language right here. Okay, so we have just gotten a honey garlic fried chicken. Ready? So this is our honey garlic fried chicken. Let's go. Okay, so we are here on a Monday night. There seems to be enough uh, free spaces around here. I can only imagine how uh, how are things going to be on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Man. Cool. Okay, so I heard a lot about the big, big fries, which is uh, it's going to look something like this. But we've decided to go for something else. We've decided to go for the mentaiko bomb. Uh, fried chicken with mentaiko mayonnaise. I'm just hoping not to drop any of this. <laughs> you cannot. Yeah, it's okay, sir. Okay, so we've gotten our mentaiko bomb as well. I am trying, trying my best not to drop any of this. Yep. Here we go. So I was half thinking of asking Chongqing to, you know, uh, to raise him to wherever he's seated and see whether either of us would drop anything. So you've gotten the food as well, so... I put my bag over here. Before I put my bag down, I checked whether or not it was wet. It was dry that side. But I did not realise the spot where I was going to sit, uh, sit at is wet. So... <laughs> so we've gotten the mentaiko bomb, alright? And this was from the Thai food side, I think. Yep, and this is the actual Thai food. We've got the papaya salad and then the honey honey garlic fried chicken from the Korean food. And of course, we need the beer as well. Hello, please put the camera down and start eating. Come, 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 come. Eat la! Okay, so very obviously, food all done. Drinks all done as well. Uh, in general, I think that the food that we've gotten, maybe the prices are a little bit steeper, which is expected. But the food quality actually not too bad. It, it's been a pleasant surprise for us. So yeah, looking forward to exploring more stores around here. So apparently you're supposed to try to imitate the poses of Pao Pao and there are five poses for you to try. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower. Come, come, come. Two seconds, let's go! Hey, last second, man, you get it. Wow. Okay. Thank you, thank you. What can I do with this voucher? So yeah, my six poses over there made to get five dollars off my uh, food panda first first order. This is a station where you just have to cycle and Percy cycling for fifteen seconds. Okay, okay. Honestly, <laughs> even with my short legs, this is already a bit short. Okay, two more, one more. Okay. Thank you. Oh, another five dollars off. Yeah. To my next partner to be, I'm already in position. I need just one person behind me to hug me. So my next partner to be, where are you? I'm already. 
So apart from the food, the drinks and the performances, there is also the carnival games as well. Try a bit, did not win anything, but yeah, yeah you know, it would be good for you to come and try your luck as well. Uh. Come on, together, come on, come on. Until the whole thing lights up, come on, come on. Okay, are you ready, ladies? Okay, in three, two, one. Come on. Hey, right, come on, come on. Why are you so slow? Come on, faster, come on. Let's go, almost there, come on. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me breathe first. Also, on top of having fun, each time we complete a passport, we also do something for a family in need as well. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. It's just nice and lighting. <laughs> okay, thank you. thank you. So this is a new drink. Yeah, uh, no calorie. No, no yeah, calories. No wow, okay. Pepsi Black. So earlier on, we just had leave more, eat less for the tummy. Now we've got Pepsi Black without any calories. So it further helps with this as well. Lah. Just gonna do a very quick one because this is an actual store, but the people are just not here today. But there are a number of different alcoholic drinks that you can enjoy. So all my adult friends, come and enjoy yourselves, come. Okay, so the other big highlight about the Gastro Beats is uh, all the live band performances as well. But unfortunately, these are happening over the weekends, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. So do go on to the website to check out which bands are coming on. Today, Monday night, don't have, apart from me singing. That's all. So are you ready for me to drop some tune? Okay, so I guess we are done with our time here in Gastro Beat. Uh, so there is really about 50 of different stalls over here. So if you're gonna come here, it would be good for you to strategize with your friends, your family, on who to win get what, who to win choke seats. Because this is a Monday evening, there's already so many people. I don't know how is it gonna be for the weekends. So yeah, go strategize, man. But the food is good lah. Okay, so we are here at the very first installation of Highlight Singapore, which is a lighting installation that is cast onto the Art Science Museum. Got ends the. Okay, so I've uh, decided to give uh, give ourselves a bit of a challenge. Uh, we are going to try to interpret what these installations are and then after that we'll try to find out we'll read from the description what the exhibits are about i still don't know whether i can fit through we find out now we find out okay 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 i didn't eat too much i guess it's okay it's okay so okay. so right here we have entered the embrace of this big person right here who's all seems to be nice to hug. Okay, so this exhibit is actually called Tree Men, and yeah, it's actually trees and human, right? So it provides sanctuary for a young tree while carving out an inner sanctum for visitors. So it's there to hug you. It's where nature hugs you and embraces you. So this is Big Hero 1, that is Big Hero 2. Is it called Big Hero? I can't quite remember. Though. So this is CJ's interpretation of this installation. This represents the ozone layer, our sky. But after what we have done to the sky, the ozone layer is breaking down, so it is drooping downwards. So this is a reminder to us to watch out for our environment. Okay, so rather than the sky, this is actually about the sea and the water. So this is about the salinity of water and also water as a renewable energy source. Totally wrong this time around. Okay, so right in the centre of Gastro Beat, there is also the number 4 installation for I Like Singapore. 
which is right behind me. All right, so this is what's going to happen. You can stand on this platform. There are sensors over here. And the moment you move, your motion is going to show on the big screen right above the stage. Yeah. How's my rave, yeah? Okay, so up next, this is installation number five. Uh, when we are when looking from afar, we thought it was like some snakes, but turns out it's actually some clinging plant that glows in the dark. Also with uh, plastic flower petals as well. I have no idea what is it. So this is a block party. Apparently, this is an interactive uh, art installation over here. So the way you move, you are going to be able to control the motion of the HDB blocks as well. So I guess this is trying to remind us that even though we're all staying in individual units in the HB flat or the private housing, we can all always come together and still have fun and have a block party together. So this next uh, exhibit called the Light Wave. So before you enter, you've got to purchase the tickets from Crook. Uh, took us some time because I haven't purchased anything from Crook before, but the tickets are going at $5 per person. So yep, here we go. So it's a very misty, underwater kind of feel over here. the different environmental settings that we may have in the future. We may also have got uh, new flora and fauna in the waters as well. Some may come out and bite you. I don't know. I guess this is a relatively short tour for a $5 ticket. Uh, but of course, it's really there to highlight to us what may be the consequences if we continue to turn a blind eye on this current state of our environment. So if we do not want our actual sea levels to rise to these, we may really have to wake up our idea. Fish. One big fish. Small, small. Okay, big one. Let's go, big one. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so with this uh, concludes our journey right here at iLight Singapore together with Gastro Beat as well. Now, to be honest, I think as a Singaporean, uh, the bigger draw was actually at Gastro Beat where there was a lot of food, there was live music, there was also things for you to play with and also there was beer as well. Uh, price point over there for the food-wise is of course a bit higher, but so far for the price point, I thought the quality was quite good. And then of course, uh, for the 14 different installations, uh, about half of them were actually interactive. Some of which, honestly, I didn't quite understand. <sighs> okay. So one thing to note is that if you're going to see like all of the blue lights on the different uh, buildings all around, uh, I think these are all also part of iLight Singapore as well. So it's quite a number of different players all taking part in it. But anyway, <sighs> it's been quite a journey today. It's been uh, taken us quite a bit of uh, effort to produce this. So if you enjoyed this, it will mean a lot to us. You can drop us a like, drop us a share, and also even better, you subscribe to us so that we can uh, continue to produce things that you would like. All right, so if not, see you the next time. Angular.